so guys welcome back to another video and uh, i have been i haven't been making videos uh, recently guys that's because i have been caught up in a lot of work uh, and i haven't found the time to make videos for you guys uh, i'm really sorry about that anyway this is going to be a short video uh, in this video a lot of people have been asking me how to add markers uh, on your google maps whenever you tap on a particular location or something so this is pretty much easy guys and I'd like to uh, show exactly how to do that in this particular video. Now first of all to add a Google map to your Flutter project uh, I've already shown discussed that in a lot of my previous videos. I'll add the link to those previous videos in the uh, description of this particular video. But it's pretty much easy guys all you need to do is there is a plugin available called Google Maps Flutter. Okay. And uh, you need to uh, register a project on the developer console Google developer console enable maps SDK. Uh, and they will give you a key. Use that key. Use that key in your Android manifest.xml file. That's it. All these steps I have shown in my previous video. I will link that video in the description of this particular video. Okay. Just do that and add a Google map to your uh, project. I have already added this to this project. Okay. This project has nothing but a uh, main dot file which just maps to a, I mean points to a map screen file which is this one. As I have a stateful widget. That's it. Now for the body. What I'll do is I'll simply add a Google map, Google map widget. Okay. Uh, we just need an initial camera position, uh, camera position, camera position, uh, target will be a lat longitude coordinate. And uh, we'll add a zoom as well. Zoom fourteen. Okay. Uh, then we'll just have a. Um, do we need an on map created? No, we don't need that, right? We are not going to be using the controller. Let's just save this and see how this looks on our uh, mobile device. I'll run this on my mobile device now. Hi right, guys, now you can see that uh, New York has been loaded up on our uh, screen, right? Mobile screen perfectly. Now, uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll try to include a set of markers here. For that, uh, I'll first create a marker list. Uh, my marker. Fine. And this will be a list of markers. And uh, here inside this, after this, I'll add a, uh, on tap uh, and tap and tap tap and tap. I'll simply this will simply return a sorry, it will take a latitude longitude coordinate as a uh parameter so tapped point and i'll simply set state um uh, my marker equals blank so that uh, whenever the user taps on a different place the previous marker is removed and the uh, new marker is added at the location where he has tapped recently uh, i'll show that on the map okay uh, here we just need to add the markers as well right marker set dot from uh, what was the list name my marker and uh, here my marker i just my marker dot add uh, marker uh, marker id uh, marker id uh, tap point dot to string this will just give that ID and uh, we need a position position tab point 
this won't be uh, applicable now we need to just hot restart the app so that the map gets loaded again and that will include this markers and the on tap uh, uh, parameters as well attributes as well okay it has been restarted now let's try tapping on some uh, location on the map wow you can see that a new marker has been created right and wait i'll even show you the uh if i just tap on a new location you can see that the latitude and longitude coordinate is being printed right and this is a different uh, area where i have tapped now i can tap here and the reason why every time i'm tapping a new location the marker is newing uh, the old marker is removed and the new marker is added because uh, i am making this blank every time it's being tapped right if this line is not there then it will just keep adding new markers to this my marker uh, you can see the difference right it just keeps adding new markers so that's the reason why i included this particular line so that uh, we can have just one marker on the map see you get it right now suppose for instance uh, okay this will always the map is just like a drawn map right to uh get it in a it there is something called map type i think map type yeah map type map type dot hybrid my mouse is a little bit broken this hybrid and we need to hot restart this so that the map is oh, okay so now you can see a hybrid map right in this case just notice i want to tap it here this uh, courtland alley okay but i don't know exactly where i want to tap it right maybe i wanted to tap it uh, tap it at the uh, this end of courtland alley and i by mistake i added it there right now i can simply tap it here and the marker will shift here but if i want to move it to an exact location with accuracy what do i do then so in that case we need to make that marker particular marker draggable as well right so how do we do that how do we make this draggable just give it draggable true fine and uh, we need the new position now right we need to get the new position so for that what you can do is there is a function called on drag end and this function it will take the new position new uh, drag end position uh set state not set state print drag in position fine save this okay it got loaded now the marker is here right uh, i'm just tapping on this here okay now i want to move this marker to franklin street so in that case i can simply tap on that marker drag it to franklin street and if i leave it here the coordinates automatically got changed as you can see here right so we can simply uh, uh, this is just to increase the accuracy of where you want to uh, place your marker guys that's it okay i'm just dragging it here and we get new set of coordinates right so yeah this is exactly what i uh, wanted to show to you guys today and as i said uh, as i was saying before you can simply change the color as well if you want icon bitmap descriptor dot t4 see now you can see that the map anyway this is not much of importance guys i was just trying to show you that you can have your own markers that's it and you can drag the marker place it accurately accurately and uh, it'll uh, so yeah uh, this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today there is a lot of stuff that you can do you can even save this location to firestore and then access it later on just uh, use your imagination guys and uh, you can uh, use this for whatever use case you want it to be uh, in your particular flutter applications 
uh so yeah guys this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today i'm really sorry for not making a lot of videos uh, i'll try to make uh, more ones in the forthcoming uh, weeks so yeah uh, hope this helped you guys if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you really like what i'm doing on this channel and if you would like to see uh, more videos on flutter for firebase i am actually thinking of moving into more back end stuff as well now that uh, uh, there is there will actually be more videos in the future where i show uh, how to create a back end and then host it anyway there will be more vi videos later on with back end stuff as well guys for your flutter applications okay so kindly subscribe to my channel kindly hit the bell but uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the hit the bell button so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video and also uh, hit the like button on this video guys hit the like button it will really help me a lot okay and leave a comment below if you would like to see uh, i mean uh, if you would like to see more videos on the back and stuff okay so yeah guys uh, i'll talk to you guys in the next video then uh, bye